Okay guys, so I had exactly three of the chocolate bowls left over from the chocolate bowl tutorial that we did uh, a few videos back. And after reading one of your comments, um, I decided to try something a little different. I went and purchased some strawberries and whipped cream. And we're gonna have some chocolate covered strawberries, but we're gonna put them in our chocolate bowl. So what you're going to need is strawberries, and I believe the store I bought these um, at, they were on sale for like 99 cents. Um, you're going to need whipped cream, you're going to need your chocolate bowls, and I'm also going to be using some extra chocolate to drizzle on top. So go ahead and gather your ingredients because we're going to make something super, super yummy. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is uh, slice off your stems and wash your berries. I'm gonna go rinse these and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, now this part is totally optional, but when I'm working with berries, um, like strawberries, I like to sprinkle a couple of uh, teaspoons of sugar on top, just because I like the, um, the berry juice that accumulates once you do that. So if you sprinkle it on there, and um, usually I set these in the refrigerator for a little bit, they will make their own, um, their own their own liquid just a little bit it makes them sweeter so I'm going to sprinkle um, just a, a couple of teaspoons of sugar on top I'm going to toss them just to get it even okay I'm just going to put these in the refrigerator for a few minutes while I'm getting my uh, chocolate melted I had exactly one brick left of my chocolate um, baking bark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the microwave and melt it. And then we're gonna pour this into a Ziploc bag so we can pipe it onto our strawberries. Okay, and you guys know by now after watching my past cooking tutorials that I am in no way a pro when it comes to all things kitchen really anything kitchen so I don't have as many fancy gadgets as uh, some of you might I don't have a piping bag so how I'm going to put my chocolate over my berries is I'm going to put the melted chocolate in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna make our own piping bag so go ahead and pour just a little bit down below in your Ziploc bag okay as you can see I just pour just a little bit. Now we're going to take the bag and we're just going to twist it where it's good and tight. And then what you'll need to do is snip just a tiny hole down here at the bottom and then you can pipe the chocolate onto your berries. Just need to assemble everything in our chocolate bowl. You're going to take your strawberries and we're just going to put them in the chocolate bowl. However many you would like. All right, that looks like a good amount. Then I bought whipped cream that I'm going to put on top, but I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little chocolate to um, my berries first. It looks so yummy. Okay, I'm going to lay that there for the next one. Now I'm just gonna add some whipped cream. Tried to find a smaller, let me show you guys this. Tried to find a smaller thing of whipped cream and this is all I could find. This is 14 ounces, way huge. I don't even need that much. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the whipped topping. Now I'm just going to take a little more of the chocolate and we are going to cover the top. And there you go guys. We have got chocolate and strawberries and yummy whipped cream and I can't wait to, well, I was going to give these to the kids but I think I'm going to have to make me some. Hopefully I've got enough chocolate left. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do try it, let me know.